You've probably heard it said by many people, oh, sim your characters, but you may not know what it means. Well, today I'm going to be teaching you the basics of how to sim both in retail and in classic versions of WoW. My name's Coyote, and let's get to it. Stupid Coyote. Simming is a great way, especially if you are a min maxer, to kind of really push your damage to the next level. Or maybe you're learning the game and you're trying to figure out what maybe you're not doing just right. Well, it's all right here. There's plenty of great information, and I'm going to show you how to access it and where to grab everything. But you're going to need a couple things first. So first thing you're going to need is the WoW Sims Exporter if you're doing Classic Sims, or you're going to need another add-on for retail, which is Simulation Craft. Uh, these pull all the data of your character, what he's wearing, what he may have in his bags, what, are they, what do they got, and what are their potential outcomes. It gathers all that and puts it into a form. I'm going to show you how to grab each of these datas, though, right now. For those of you who may not recognize this scene, welcome to the land of retail. We are in Valdraken, the major city for both the Horde and the Alliance in current retail. Now, I, rec I said that you needed simulation craft for retail version. The best way to, when you get in here after downloading the add-on is just to go in SimC. Now it's going to put up all this information in this block right here in the center of the screen and you're going to be like, what do I do with all this? Well, in this case, we're going to be copying it because I'm going to show you what to do with it later. So, control C, just hit OK. Now a site that I know actually quite too well, it's RaidBots. This is your retail sim spot. I'm going to log in because me and my buddy still pay for an account for some reason. He still uses it. Uh, but we're going to be showing you how to get a top gear sim. That's pretty much what we're going to be running off of. So... Coming over, we are going to pull in our SimC stats. We're going to throw it in here. It's got my old warrior. Uh, Raidbots is really good about saving your old stuff. And it pretty much, you can select any gear that you have. In this case, we're going to see which is better out of this. Uh, we'll just do these two things. You can add all these different things. This is how you check your enchants. This is how you check what craftable item do you need to increase your stuff. This is how you find out if you're wearing the best. It's a really min-max play style when it comes to everything. Uh, it checks all everything you got, your talent builds, everything. And you're going to click Find Top Gear. And it's got pretty much two combinations, so this will be quick. And it'll go from there. From here, it tells me, hey, look, I need to change this gear. Uh, and it's going to give me this amount of DPS increase. Something kind of like trivial, but like I said, this is more of a min-max kind of style. But you're going, well, you said, hey. I can learn what I'm doing wrong in my rotation. Well, yeah, I'm going to show you that. What you're going to do if you want to see if you are doing something. So in this case, playing uh, a human affliction warlock, my top DPS should be uh, 136,000. Now this is perfect world simulation. This is everything is going right and it's perfect. I always tell people you should be within about 10K of this. This is about normal. This kind of adds those little coefficiencies of, hey, I may have... I don't know, slipped here or something happened here or I got a mechanic there. That's what I usually say. If you can hit within about 10K of this, you're doing pretty good. So you're going to click on this button right here that says full HTML report. It's going to pull you up to this page and you're going to come down to the name. Mine is catastrophic in retail and we're going to go to charts. All righty. This breaks down everything from your sim. All right. Your top sim as well. And it tells you what your highest damage dealing abilities are. If you're actually practicing your rotation and your highest damage abilities aren't these, you may want to go back in and take a look at what you're doing. You may want to go verify it with Warcraft logs, see what other top players are doing, or check your class Discord or class guide. Just like Warcraft logs, this is a great tool to kind of help get you up off the bottom of the damage meters. It's just a simple tool. You get as much as you put into this thing out of it. Now, let's move on to Classic, and I'm going to show you how Classic Sims work. I think these are actually a little bit nicer. Now that we're back in the land of Classic, this next step will work for both the Wrath of the Lich King players and Season of Discoveries. From here, we're going to need WoW Sim Exporters. Really simple tip. It's WSE, and it's going to create this. Now, you can actually generate all the equipped item you have, or you can get anything else. We're just going to go ahead and just do the basics of getting only our equipped item. Same thing, you're going to control C and you can close out of this window. Now we're heading on over to wowsims.github.io. Don't worry, I have all the links to everything you're going to need down in the description below. Just 
Don't worry, I'm going to have all the links to the descriptions down below. If you're playing retail, just follow the retail block. If you're playing classic, follow the classic block. From here, I'm going to click on WoW Sim Season of Discovery. Since I'm playing a Druid now for my guild, we're going to go to a Druid Balance. And right here shows you all of your best in slot phase two. This is one reason why I love this classic Sims. This says, hey, look, this is what we put together. This is our top theory craft. This is what you're going to want to wear. So if it does look a different from maybe what you're seeing over on your class guides, uh, this is usually pulled from your top guys over on your WoW Discords. So you can actually just run a quick sim. It's going to do it. You're going to come over here to results, and this is going to show you your top DPSing abilities. So if you're out there and you're running dungeons or running raids, and when you're doing maybe a single target boss and your damage doesn't look like any of these abilities right here, you may be doing something wrong, and you're going to want to revert back to what you're doing. But let's take a look at how to import your character settings so that way you can compare to what the top ones are doing. If you want to import your stuff, you're going to grab that little block that we grabbed from the WoW Simulations export. And you're going to come over here to this import button right here and go to add on. And we're going to control, copy paste the block and hit import. And it'll tell you whether it's successful or not. And now I just run simulate. So I go over to results. And this will tell me how much damage I should be doing in a raid. Now, if I, not to say I haven't been playing Classic that long enough to tell you where you should be as the same as I could tell you in retail, but you should be within at least close to this on a single target patchwork fight. This tells you how much time I spent out of mana, and all these are important. As you can still see, my top damaging ability should still be relatively the same. That means, hey, as long as I'm doing my rotation right, I should be able to pull about this much of DPS. These are just some basic tools to kind of help you get better at the game. Whether you want to use them or not is completely up to you. But hey, look, it's a game and everybody should want to do the best they can. That being said, if you found any help out of this video, do me a favor, leave a like down below, maybe even subscribe to the channel. My name's Coyote and as always, happy adventures. Stupid Coyote.